The real Jimmy Roberts is a Martian investigator, if you will. Analyzing the footage taken from all of the rovers we have up there, and then claiming that something else or someone else used to inhabit the Red Planet. Well, you'll be excited to hear that Jimmy is still at it, and he's recently made a video about the most revealing images from Mars he has ever seen. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday. Chinfoil. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tinfoil Tuesday with me, Simon and Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a quick reminder about the channel memberships. Now I've been chatting to members in the new Simon and Dan members only Discord server, which you can join too and have a chat with us as well if you join the Atlantis membership or higher. Now, you can also get merchandise discounts and uh, channel update videos. All you've got to do to have a look is click the join button underneath this video. Right, on with today's video and the real Jimmy Roberts. Now, he's reviewing what he calls the most revealing images from Mars that he has ever seen. Now, I'm not so sure about that, but Jimmy, take it away. Now, I've maintained for years that these images are highly fraudulent. When I said images are 70, 80, or even 90% fake, really those numbers are arbitrary. What I'm saying is they're highly falsified using varying methods to hide nearly everything important. NASA Curiosity rover left navigational camera image, so 3324 sources NASA's geologic site, the Mars Science Lab Analysts Notebook. This surface area is badly overexposed. We've seen this issue before, and it's usually accompanied by this strange darker texture that's supposed to be Martian soil. But it just always looks suspicious, and then often like it's just been digitally painted into place. It looks suspicious. Dirt and rocks and sand and pebbles look suspicious now, does it? You're going to need a bit more than look suspicious to convince people that something's going on up there. Well, get ready for the reason that it looks that way. I'm about to apply a special contrast filter and the changes will be so extreme that your eyes might at first be confused, but give them a second and that will change. Are you seeing it yet? Not just one specific thing, but the entire disaster area. I'm not seeing anything, Jimmy. What is this supposed to prove? Folks, I see concrete. Concrete? Where? You've used a contrast filter, which by the looks of it makes dark areas light and light areas dark, and then claiming you're seeing concrete. Sounds like utter nonsense to me. Rebar and framework in general of a structure that has collapsed. Along with plenty of other material, look at this. Well, it's a rock that looks like another rock has sheared off from it, causing that fractured look. So what did that look like in the original image? Let's look at that. Now, do you realize just how wrong that is? For those that have really looked at these images over the years, it's going to start making a lot of sense now. Nope, still makes no sense. When you look in that area of the normal photograph, it looks like a very typical rock formation that has some dirt or sand built up in that crevice. Much like this photo here, where you can see what I mean. To the far left, look at this exposed frame. You see the precision openings in this otherwise solid piece? Folks, this is incredible. This has been hidden all along. Is Jimmy seeing something I can't? Looks like rock still to me. Now this may not have came out perfect, but it's very obvious that we have a ton of reinforcement material here. This is a collapsed structure. Now, this is no illusion, folks. We've applied this process to the stereo pair and examined it in stereoscopic 3D, and it more than holds up. In fact, it's even more incredible, and we will give you the opportunity to see it in 3D very soon as well. Just hold tight. I genuinely think here that Jimmy is seeing things that are just not there. It's classic pareidolia, really, and very common with people who want to find things. So with the overexposure in the originals producing such a bright white mess, 
We used a blending mode called exclusion, which inverts the whites while leaving blacks alone. It was applied and then the brightness was increased. And looky here, a depression appears, which would be no big deal, except for that includes what looks to be deliberate edges and a steep drop exhibiting contour. Dear, oh dear, Jimmy. The reason that it has edges like that is because it's a shadow. Take a look at the original and this one side by side. You're looking at the shadow, Jimmy. Wow. As well as various objects just randomly strewn. And more than one person has commented that it looks like there was water in this area and that would be controlled water. And what's up with that X? I know you see it. Do I? Because I couldn't see one. And at the top, you'll see what we talked about in that last video, either stairs, steps, or could be something else, but that's two and a half feet tall. So where was this depression, we'll call it, in the original image? Well, let's look. Well, there it is. It appears as a mere shadow. So you knew it was a shadow, but you were still asking why there were edges? Brilliant. So which is the illusion, the shadow or the depression? Well, if that actually drops in elevation, we should be able to measure that. So off we go to NASA's geologic site, the analyst notebook for profile measurements. Now the distance long ways from points five to six here is 8.87 meters. That's 29.1 feet or 9.7 yards, just short of what is needed for an American football thirst down. And the distance short ways is going to be less than three feet. Clear as mud? Good, because it gets worse. Now for the depth, these profile charts were generated. Look at the top left chart for our long ways point five to six line measurement, that first one. Now we are looking at the elevation change within sight frame in reference to the distance, which you'll recall was 8.87 meters, about 10 yards. And the change is a negative 0.6 meters. That's a drop of right at two feet. And then a rise of 0.8 meters or two and a half feet. All three long ways measurements are comparable. They do about the same thing. And then the across shorter measurement shows a drop of about 2.3 feet. So the shadow is the illusion. This is a depression with deliberate edging. Have you ever considered that there is a depression in the rocks there and that the shadow is also being cast by the larger rock? Both things can be true, you know. And there's our obligatory Martian Missy size reference. And is anyone paying attention? Look at this. Now this is there in the original, but it shows up a lot better now. now. I'm not saying that by using this method, it will work to unlock the secrets of every image coming from Mars rovers. But might we have some success with other nav cam images from this area? Yes, we can. Can we though? Or is it more of the same? Guessing and postulating and getting things wrong. This is from Sol 3322. I saw a comment once where someone mentioned that, sure, he could see what appeared to be debris scattered about in some images, but he added that he was bothered at the absence of what he called the big pieces. In other words, the buildings, where are they? Well, here we have the answer. They're underneath, covered by decades of fallout and Martian soil and the like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? The Doge sunglasses meme, right there, in the middle, in the sand. I can't believe we found that. You know what this means, don't you? The Doge sunglasses meme originated on Mars. Only joking. It means that rocks on Mars look a bit like other things, or in other words, pareidolia is a thing. There've been many times that we've seen what appear to be metallic sections of something right underneath areas where the rover was, well, rovering. And there's that deliberate depression again. Here though, we're suddenly confronted with the reality of large gaping openings exposing the buried ruins of a civilization. No, we're seeing rocks that look a bit different because you manipulated the image. And that is all that they are. Rocks. Well, I think we'll leave Jimmy here today with his rocks and we'll say we are all done and dusted for another tin foil tuesday let me know in the comments if you enjoyed that one and we'll do more mars stuff there's actually loads more other than just what the real jimmy roberts does and i want to get in stuck into that so let me know in the comments and we'll have a look thanks so much for watching today it truly is appreciated if you enjoyed it please do consider subscribing to the channel 
Um, I've been saying we're on the march to half a million for so long that now it was almost automatic. Now I've got to say we're on the march to a million. Or do we, do we say three quarters of a million? No, let's say a million. We're on the march to a million. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button too. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a great week and I'll see you on Friday for the return of Flat Out Truth and another one of his proofs. See you then.